Then I had a Saturday night movie this week, and it was Alfred Hitchcock's 1956, The Man Who Knew Too Much, one of the later period Hitchcocks that I haven't seen. Uh, it's a remake, basically in name only, of a 1954 film, which was also directed by Hitchcock, in which uh, a family is travelling in Morocco on holiday. Uh, the father is a doctor, the wife is a famous singer who is apparently now in semi-retirement, and while they're there they befriend a mysterious Frenchman, and while visiting the uh, marketplace the following day they are set upon by a man who's been horribly injured, and it turns out it's the Frenchman in disguise. Um, the parents ask the uh, English couple they've met to take their young son back to the hotel while they talk to the police, but it turns out that the couple have kidnapped the child and are involved in some kind of international espionage caper. And they're told that if they go to the police, their son will be mailed to them in envelopes or something like that. Um, it's very much rote Hitchcock. It's the wrong man, it's sort of the, the, the innocent party getting involved in this story and becoming a fugitive. And we've seen all this sort of thing before. Um, a big problem with it is it takes a very long time to get going. The first half hour is largely a travelogue of Morocco. In particular, it's a travelogue from the point of view of stereotypical ugly Americans who can't cope with the idea of customs being different from what happens in Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, once the story actually gets going, it develops at a quite a languid, leisurely pace. It's nearly two hours long, and it feels overextended. It feels like it needs to be tighter. In fact, the, the original film, which has a different storyline, but had a, the same basic premise, is an hour and a quarter. And I'd really like to see that now as comparison to see how quickly that must rocket through story and how languid and slow paced this one is. There are a few Hitchcock style set pieces. There's a chase around a taxidermy workshop. There's a climactic uh, assassination at a concert hall um, with a gunshot to be fired at the sound of a clash of cymbals to cover up the noise, although there's no explanation about why the assassin didn't use a silencer. Um, but overall it just feels a bit sluggish and slow and it, it feels like it needs to be tighter. It needs to be worked over to be more energetic. It just feels too lacking in urgency. And given that there are scenes that work well, there's a scene where uh, Day's character discovers that her, that her son is kidnapped and could be in deadly danger, and she just collapses sobbing in a, a very frighteningly realistic moment. And that, it feels like that's lifted out of a better film. There's too much slow wandering around and there's no energy and as a result despite its fame I would say well it's definitely lesser Hitchcock 